gotta get my thumb. Hey everybody, welcome to another food challenge video. Today I'm in Glassboro, New Jersey. I am at Cookie Munchers, about to attempt their cookie challenge. Now I am very excited for this one, another new food form for me for a challenge. This will be my first cookie challenge. And um, it'll also be my first food challenge attempt in the state of New Jersey. So trying to add another one to the list. So very exciting. Now this challenge is very cool because you have only 20 minutes to eat 10 of their gigantic cookies. And these things are as big as your face. I've heard that you have to pick different flavors. You can't get all the same one. And then you have a um, a small container of milk you have to finish first before you can drink any other liquids and you can choose between regular chocolate and strawberry milks. So yeah, very exciting. I'm not sure what cookies they have. I think they have a rotating menu. So when I go inside, I'm gonna check it out. Mrs. Klein is actually gonna help me over the phone decide which cookies I'm going to eat. So yeah, uh, very excited to try this one. So let's go inside, check the place out. All right, ready? Yep. One, two, three, go. Double trouble. Forty five percent. Snicker deal, right? Snicker deal. One of my favorite cookies. Thank you. 
<laughs> got a bunch of people watching me, so I can't let them down. <laughs> you, you, got right you, got you got it. You got it. You got it. Probably should have Hey everybody and welcome back to another food challenge video where today I'm doing what every kid imagines, eating a ton of cookies. This is my first food challenge attempt in the state of New Jersey and my very first cookie challenge. You know I love trying new types of food challenges so I was pumped for this one. As an avid fan of cookies myself, I couldn't wait to try it. Cookie Munchers offers many types of cookies on a rotating menu. All right, the milk's gone, so I can drink out of this. I should have brought coffee, but I only got some water. I let Mrs. Klein choose them for me, and I ended up with three chocolate chip, two snickerdoodle, a double chocolate, s'mores, two sugar cookies, and an M&M. You also have to choose a pint of milk, and I went with regular. I figured regular would help cut down on the sugar, right? <laughs> What's your favorite type of cookie? Let me know down in the comments. Just a word of warning here though, this one was much more difficult than I expected. The cookies themselves were fabulous, but the sugar overload was real. And 20 minutes is not a lot of time for this. Are you jelly? <laughs> Don't move. I learned while at Cookie Munchers that Glassboro is home to Rowan University and is quite the college town. While I was doing the challenge, there was quite a few college students coming into the shop buying cookies and watching the challenge. There was even a few college students up on the wall of fame. Pretty impressive. Big thanks to the staff at Cookie Munchers for allowing me to try this challenge. I really enjoyed these cookies despite the huge sugar rush. The cookies were very fresh and came out very quickly. Do you think I had what it takes to beat my first cookie challenge and earn my first win in the state of New Jersey? Keep watching to find out. Thanks for tuning in to another food challenge video. Help the channel out by clicking the like button and sharing with your friends. And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. Thanks for watching. This is a lot harder than it They're good, but after about six, the sugar really hits you. I don't recommend you guys drive this. This is tough. The sugar is really hitting.
minutes and 48 seconds. It was rough. Yay. I couldn't let these guys down. <laughs> Glad I didn't. All right, so there you saw it. I finished the Cookie Munchers Challenge at Cookie Munchers in Glassboro, New Jersey. I finished in 16 minutes and 48 seconds to win the challenge. Oh my gosh, sugar overload. The cookies were very delicious. However, it just became too much towards the end, just too much sugar. Um, I got like one of every flavor that they had and a couple extras of, of some of them just to make the 10. But I gotta say my favorite was probably the chocolate chip, although it got extremely rich at the end. The snickerdoodle was good too. All of them were really good, but those were probably my top two. So um, for winning, I got the $42 meal for free. I got a t-shirt and I'll go up on their wall of fame. There, uh, I learned there's been like over 500 attempts and on the wall of fame, there was probably less than 20 people. So that's crazy. Uh, there's even some college students up there. Uh, some locals. This is actually a college town I learned. Uh, what a convenient and very marketable idea to have in a college town. So if you're in the area, make sure you come check this place out. You can order different kinds of cookies. They come out very fast. I wouldn't recommend doing the challenge unless you're a really, really big cookie lover. I love cookies. Probably won't be eating any for a while. But if you're up for it, take the Cookie Munchers Challenge. You have 20 minutes to complete it to get it for free. Otherwise, you uh, will be taking home some leftovers and paying the price. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video.